Should we be in Bitcoin or should we be in altcoins? It's a question a lot of crypto investors ask themselves. To this date, crypto has been very cyclical, with periods of time of Bitcoin outperforming altcoins and altcoins outperforming Bitcoin. Today, I would like to emphasize the importance of looking at the altcoin season index versus the Bitcoin season index, whether we should be in Bitcoin or altcoins. We start things off by looking at the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now trading under $42,000. Like I was saying in my previous video, I believe we will end up testing the 200 day moving average. Um, we might get rejected a few times and then eventually break through if we want to resume the bull run. The worst thing that can happen is we do keep on testing and getting rejected off of it and then end up making lower lows. So that is definitely a situation we do not want. In altcoin updates, I want to bring attention to Muse up a whopping 99.7%. If uh, any of you guys watched my previous video, I know there's eight of you out in the world because there's that's the amount of subscribers I have. Um, but if you guys watched the previous video, I did mention Muse as one of the three altcoins that I'm accumulating. Muse is one of them. Why is it pumping so much? Well, Elio Trades just posted a video. I just watched it. He mentioned Muse. Um, so it's definitely bringing awareness and attention to this altcoin. And... As you can see in my previous video, I did mention it when it was $25, and right now it is trading $46. So almost a double, almost a double. Bringing up my favorite chart that I always love, and I've been talking about this for the last few videos, is the altcoin season versus Bitcoin season index. Right now, we are still currently in Bitcoin season. We actually just entered it not too long ago. Um, so what does this mean? Bitcoin season meaning that it Bitcoin is outperforming 75% of the top 50 coins by market cap. You can get this chart at blockchaincenter.net. So definitely keep your eye on this if you want to know if we're in Bitcoin season or altcoin season. So as I was saying, it's important to understand this cycle because in crypto everything is cyclical, as I was saying. We have periods of time where we have Bitcoin is outperforming all coins. So right here, Bitcoin is outperforming all coins. And then it ramps up to where all coins are outperforming Bitcoin. Now, with these ramp ups here to all coin season, I find this is, you know, I find this is a period of time where we're in a bullish momentum, right? We're, we're in a bullish uptrend. Um, and every single time that you know, we're entering Bitcoin season, it's usually because we're entering a bit of a bearish trend, right? A lot of people would pr rather preserve their capital by being in Bitcoin rather being in risky small cap altcoins or large cap altcoins, right? So as you can see, I was just saying crypto is cyclical. So we just alternate between Bitcoin season and altcoin season, right? To illustrate this point that there are periods of time where Bitcoin outperforms altcoins, meaning we're in Bitcoin season and periods of time where altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin, meaning altcoin season, right? I want to illustrate that fact by looking at Polkadot, which is one coin that I like a lot. So with Polkadot, let's look, go on CoinGecko here. So using Polkadot as an example, we're going to look at the past one year uh, price performance of Polkadot. So right now, looking at this chart, this is the USD price action uh, for Polkadot. But if you scroll down to down here where it says BTC and ETH, you can actually price Polkadot in terms of Bitcoin or Ethereum. So let's illustrate this point by clicking on Bitcoin BTC. So when you click on BTC, it gives you an orange uh, price line here that illustrates the price of Polkadot in terms of Bitcoin. I want to illustrate periods of time where Polkadot outperforms Bitcoin and Bitcoin outperforming Polkadot. So when this orange line is going up, it means that Polkadot is raising uh, a rising in value in terms of Bitcoin, meaning that Polkadot is outperforming Bitcoin. But when this line is going down, it means Polkadot is actually losing value in BTC terms, right? And therefore Bitcoin is outperforming Polkadot. So looking at this chart here, back in August 2020, I think this, yeah, this is when Polkadot was first released. Polkadot surged, you know, it increased in terms of its BTC value, meaning that it was outperforming Bitcoin. So meaning that if you actually had some Bitcoin and bought Polkadot down here, and then you sold it up here, you actually ended up getting more, you had more Bitcoin. But starting from September, 
and go all the way down to December, end of December, um, this is when Bitcoin actually outperformed Polkadot. So going back to the altcoin season index here, you can see that back here, we were we had a little bit of a mini altcoin season last year in August of 2020, right? We had a little bit of altcoin season. And then all of a sudden, I remember back then, uh, we had a market-wide crash. The stock market was going down. Um, and then Bitcoin went down as well. And a lot of people decided to put their preserve their capital by moving over to Bitcoin. So you can see that Bitcoin starting from September all the way to December, right? We actually entered Bitcoin season down here. Bitcoin was outperforming a lot of the altcoins in the whole wide market, right? Which lines up with this price action of Polkadot, right? September or from in August, we had that mini altcoin season, right? Mini altcoin season here. All coins were outperforming Bitcoin, so therefore Polkadot was rising in value. And then for four months, Bitcoin outperformed the pretty much majority of the market. And you can see a lot of the altcoins or Polkadot in this instance. But if you look at a lot of the other altcoins, their BTC their BTC value was going down, right? So Bitcoin season for four months, you can see that Polkadot was going down in terms of BTC value for four months, right? And then all of a sudden it bottomed out, you know, the BTC value of Polkadot bottomed out here, which cor correlates to, you know, re reaching a bottom at the Bitcoin season index, right? And then uh, from January all the way to May, right? All the way to May, we went from Bitcoin season to altcoin season. So on this chart, it illustrates that all coins are outperforming Bitcoin. So if we go back to the price of Polkadot in terms of BTC, it correlates to that, right? It correlates to that. We have January, Polkadot is increasing its BTC value. So therefore it's, it, it's actually outperforming Bitcoin, right? So like I was saying before, if you bought, you know, use some of your BTC and you bought Polkadot, right? It was going up in value and let's say you actually sold your polka dot up here. I know it's really hard to, you know, to time the top, but let's say if you actually sold it up here, theoretically, you have more Bitcoin up here compared to where you were down here, right? Which correlates to Bitcoin season entering altcoin season. So you can see that it's really important. This is why I love this chart It's one of my favorite charts to understand whether we're in altcoin season or Bitcoin season. Another old coin that we're going to look at is Theta, which is another coin that I like a lot. So if we go down uh, here, uh, let's look at the past one year. So right now the blue line here is basically Theta priced in terms of US, USD, right? So again, go down here, click on BTC, and then it gives you the price action in terms of Bitcoin. So that's the orange line. Uh, in September, Theta is a bit of a anomaly sometimes, all right? <laughs> and I, I want to show you this. Theta was a little bit of an anomaly in September. Um, but in August, so remember August 2020 was we were in altcoin season. We had a little bit of a mini altcoin season, right? And we're going back to the Theta chart, sorry. Going back to the Theta chart. So you can see how it's sloping upwards, right? So meaning Theta is gaining in terms of Bitcoin value, right? And then sorry this is so august is right here so you can see in august it's gaining up it's gaining bitcoin it's increasing in bitcoin value right but theta theta is a bit of anomaly i remember theta was actually increasing in terms of bitcoin value it was while the rest of the market was going down theta was actually increasing its value in terms of bitcoin right but then um it did come uh, coming back to reality where bitcoin did outperform theta starting around october there and then it went all the way uh, December, right? So remember, December, that's when the Bitcoin seasoned index was bottoming out right there, right? So it was bottoming out and then we blasted off through all coin season starting around there. So you can see Theta is gaining in terms of Bitcoin value. And then, man, Theta just went on an absolute tear right there. Boom, just shot up straight to the moon. Um, I believe this was in anticipation of the main at 3.0, but then it got delayed. And therefore, we had a little bit of a sell-off there. And then, 
we had that big market-wide crash around May 19th, but then Theta pumped while the rest of the market was kind of trading sideways and going down because of the main at 3.0. But as you can see, the most important thing is that periods of when we're in Bitcoin seas, you can see a lot of these altcoins, they're going down in BTC value, as you can see, right? And then when we're in altcoin season, their BTC value shoots up. So like I was saying, if you bought, you know, you use some of your Bitcoin, you bought Theta down here, and then you wrote it all the way up here, you could have sold it up here uh, and ended up getting more Bitcoin in the end, right? So that is why I love this chart. Like, I, I mean, I just love this chart. I love looking at this chart because it gives me an indicator where if I had some spare Bitcoin, I can use that spare Bitcoin to get me more, more Bitcoin in the end by investing in all coins, right? So that is uh, definitely a chart that you guys, I highly recommend you keep an eye on. Blockchaincenter.net. Keep your eyes on this. Um, now look, just want to maybe point out one thing is the previous Bitcoin season was about two months. So, I mean, if it's any indicator or any indication, we could be in Bitcoin season for another month or two, right? And then we blast off to altcoin season. We make our way towards altcoin season. So, in my opinion, right now, if you have some spare Bitcoin or if you want to maybe divide some of your, you know, if you're mainly in Bitcoin right now, maybe not financial advice as always, right? But use some of your Bitcoin, invest into altcoins, and then just wait for it. Wait for it to make this huge run up towards altcoin season. And then when you're up here, then you can cash out some of that to Bitcoin, right? Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I'll leave it at that for today. Uh, don't want, like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. So with that being said, if you like the video, like the video. If you're not subscribed, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I mean, if you made it to the to this point of the video, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Anyways, with that being said, I'll leave you guys to it. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.